Howdy and welcome back to Transformers War for Cybertron. The time is finally here for War for Cybertron modding to begin. Now this first mod I'm going to show you is a texture modification. But before I get to showing you it, I need to show you how to set up text mod for War for Cybertron and follow Cybertron respectively. So I will show you exactly how this is done. Okay, so for the first step of this, we gotta get to where War of Cybertron's save data is stored on Steam. Which is Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, War of Cybertron. You're going to want to head to the Binaries folder. Now this is where the first thing we need to do is. This right here is the War of Cybertron EXE. We're going to want to rename this to TWFC2, right? Now once you have done that, take a copy of text mod into your binaries folder and rename it to TWFC. This will make Steam register text mod instead of War for Cybertron and allow you to run it like you would any other text mod game. However, if you're going to be playing with Fall, and you probably will, doing this will reset your save data. Now, this could be avoided if you make the appropriate adjustments. So, head over to your save data folder. The War for Cybertron save data can be found in the My Games folder in the Documents folder. It'll be under Transformers, Transgame, Save Data. You got your checkpoint files for each campaign, the custom character file, and your trans profile file. All that can be found here. Now here's the thing. If you're looking to text mod both War and Fall, a slight bug will occur that will affect your save data for both games. Now, I have found a way to remedy this. What you need to do, what I do anyways, is create two folders for the Fall and War data respectively. Because, for whatever reason, swapping over text mod to Fall will make the Fall Cybertron data save in the same place as the war save data, causing a corruption. This, however, can be avoided if you take your Fall Cybertron save data, which is stored here, so all you need to do is copy that save data into your FOC folder near your save data folder, and put that on whenever you want to text mod Fall, and you will be good to go. And if you want to keep your current data safe, take whatever game you're playing, out of the save data folder and put it into your war or fall folder respectively and your save data for that will be secure. That should be about it, text mod should be good to go. Now when you head to launch war from steam, you will see it loads text mod instead. Select WFC2 as your target application and you are set to run war for Cybertron with any sort of modified textures. So just click run and we are off. Okay, now that we've covered how TextMod is installed, let me show you exactly what the mod I'm going to show you is. Okay, now, to best showcase this mod, I have brought in Brawl. Now, if you look closely at Brawl, you will see his textures are blurry and frankly a bit ugly. Now, the thing about War for Cybertron is that it uses textures that are double, double the resolution of this. Most of the characters have all of those. There are a few exceptions, which I'll get into later. But if, if you're like me, I love to take pictures of game stuff, and frankly this low res stuff is just disgusting. And Via text mod, I have found a way to resolve this problem and make things look so much sharper. Now, the reason I'm taking Brawl is because he will stand out like a lot more than certain others. As you can see, pay special attention to Brawl's Decepticon symbol. Look how blurry and pixely that thing is, right? I will mention, it is possible to load high-res textures into multiplayer without, um text mod. However, it is a very drawn out process. 
you have to kind of like set your camera to be a little out of the ways and that's not easy to do it, it's like a shot in the dark if it'll work or if it won't if it will or not so text mod it takes a lot of the problems out of this now I will go now and show you the higher res version <laughs> Behold, high res brawl. Now, how much better does that look? Look at that. It's a world of difference. It's absolutely just so much better. Here's a side by side. Yeah. Look at that world of difference, right? Yeah. Now, my recommendation for this mod, if you're going to use it, I would recommend sticking to in only a few characters at a time. I do not recommend playing with all high risk characters on at once. That is that will likely crash the game. I'd say maybe you might be able to get away with like maybe five. I haven't tested the limit, but having all of them at once is not advisable. So stick to like a few. And really, the best places to use this if you're playing like a ca single campaign character. Let's say um. Megatron, for instance. If you're playing as Megatron, I'd recommend playing with the high-res textures. Because, well, I'll get into more of that in a bit, but... Stick to a single character, because... High-res textures don't usually show up unless a cutscene triggers them. That's usually how that goes, so... If you're playing as a campaign character, or an escalation... Or if you have a particular multiplayer character that you want to see in high res, that's what I recommend. This. Recommend using this. Um, there is a mod for every core character, ex excluding the DLC characters because we know that's not possible. But yeah, everybody has one. You can finally play a slipstream in high res textures. And actually, for the record, I actually was playing with her in high res textures, same with RC. But yeah, now you can. And they look so much better, you can finally use them in escalation with them looking as great as they can. Alright, yeah. I'm just using Brawl to showcase just how distinct these textures are. There is one other thing I want to show with this mod, which is actually a bit of a fix to a bug in the game, which I will queue up now. I am Megatron. Leader of the Decepticons. If you look closely, Megatron's face is significantly more pixely than the rest of him. This, for whatever reason, is a bug when you play the campaign as Megatron. For whatever reason, his high-res facial textures do not work. I don't know why, they just don't. However, if you use my mod... See? Much, much, much bolder. So that is a nice fix for those of you who like to play as Megatron. Now, Megatron actually has some additional changes that I will run into right now. Okay, Megatron suffers from a couple of things that frankly just irritate the heck out of me. First of which, if you look at his head, Look at the top of his head. He has a super bright streak running down the top of his head. And that, frankly, I just found just so irritating. Same thing with the chest. The top of his chest, he's got a white edge along the edge of that triangle. It sticks out like a sore thumb. More so with the head than it does with the chest, but it's just really unsettling. And one other thing is that his... um turn around yeah his back his back spires or whatever I really feel like those should be colored and for whatever reason they are not so those are all things that I have sensed fixed allow me to show you behold Everything I mentioned has been fixed. The edges on the chest are gone. The icky headline is gone. 
and his back spires are now black. Even with a little bit of scratching too. So, yeah. I think Megatron is the only character that really needed like any sort of like fixes. At least as far as resolution and stuff goes, but yeah. Yeah. Great change. Now, there are a few exceptions to where there are some characters that I could not get high rise simply because the textures for them do not exist. Now, there's not a lot of them. Only like a very small percentage do not have full high rise textures. Um, Soundwave. Soundwave's vehicle mode does not have uh, high res textures. Evidently, there are the files, but the cooked size is 1024 by 1024, so. That I cannot give you. Ratchet. Um, I think. Ratchet's fairly high res, but he's got like a few textures. I think his color mappings and his grunge texture are all. I think what? 256? Is it? I think it's. Where's the 512? I think it's. I don't know. Either way, they are both small, so. Yeah, Ratchet's stuff's kind of small, but he, his higher res stuff is his main. There's one big texture that's just like, which is the main one, which I think everybody, all the main characters have, but yeah. Um, is there anybody else, or is that about it? I think that's about it. Only really Ratchet and Soundwave are missing something. I wish there was a way to get Soundwave's vehicle texture, but so far I've had no luck with that. But, uh, yeah. That is the War for Cybertron high res texture mod. It's it's quite a nice thing to have, you know. Again, I don't recommend using a whole lot of them at once. Because really these you really only need high res textures for the character you are playing as. Not so much for anybody else. At least I don't think so. Maybe, maybe it might affect some other multiplayer characters, but I think it mostly just affects the characters you play. I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, use this in small amounts, maybe like five at maximum. I won't. I don't recommend using them all at once. But yeah, you can download it right now. Link in the, will be in the description. If you need some help installing, check the uh, uh, tutorial at the beginning. That should help you out. I think I covered everything as well as I could. Um, make sure to back up your save data. Very important. If you want to just... If you've already completed the campaign, make sure you head to where your save data is stored, like I showed you, and copy that back ahead of time, and then paste it in once you have text mod swapped out, because this can't corrupt your save data, but all you gotta do is copy it back in once you have it, so be sure to do that. Alright, yeah. Well, that'll do it for this video. I'm not sure what else you could expect in terms of um, Wolf of Cybertron stuff because there aren't a lot of texture modifications I can think of. But I will try and come up with some cool stuff as I go along. So, that's it for this episode. I will see you in the next one. Fire! Okay, so upon further testing, I've discovered that it actually is possible to load multiplayer characters in their high res textures. So what you want to do first is select the map you want to go to, go to the custom character menu, select a class, we use the Decepticons for instance, and just start scrolling between them like really fast. And eventually their high res textures should load in. And transform a few times to load the high res vehicle textures as well. Bear in mind, you have to do this with every single character, so it could be a little tedious, but it will work. Okay, that's it. Just wanted to throw this in here. Goodbye.